Okay, now we're in Riverside, just down, uh, I think this is River Road, right beside the bank of the ever-growing river, and I don't know if you can see very well how high these levels are. So, lots, of, yeah, lots of people down here. The water levels are rising, and if you look across, obviously haven't broken the banks yet, but we'll go over the bridge up top here and take a look across. See the big machines there that are building up the banks where they can. Now we're still hours away from the projected bank crest. Okay, now we're going over the Maple Street Bridge. There's the river, and it is high. I see already see quite a bit of debris floating down the river. We haven't seen any houses floating by yet. <laughs> you can see that on the bank there, the water has crested up the bank. Higher than the normal bank, anyway. Quite a bit higher. This road that you see behind the trees has been closed. Um, it's actually lower. Well, I'm not sure if it's lower than the one we were just on. It looks like a little bit, but they had machines on there uh, that were building up the berm around City Hall just down the road. So they closed the road so they could keep their machines on it. There's a train parked across the bridge, presumably to keep the bridge stable. And there's lots more heavy equipment around. Tim Hortons, we'll pass by Tim Hortons and it's all it's all sandbagged up. <clears throat> Traffic is still pretty busy down here. Tim Hortons is all sandbagged up, which is something I've never seen before. Let's see if the Finley Bridge is open. Finley Bridge might be shut. No, it's open. Let's go across Finley Bridge if you don't mind. So this is Veterans Park and everything here seems to be pretty stable. go across Finley Bridge, which is the oldest bridge in town, 115 or 105 years old, I predict. 
Now they've got lots of people here. And I'm gonna see if we can see the berms that they've built here. You can see they've built lots of berms. It's a little harder to see because we're in the car. But there's the river. Pretty freaky. Let's see if we can drive by that big house that's all boarded up again. There's another heavy machinery driving down the road. It's like a war zone. So. left here and then right instead of yeah so we're gonna drive just down the river on the other side just this way down first street you can see all these trails are closed because of the rising waters but there's some really expensive, nice homes down here that people are starting to evacuate. You'll see one here. We'll end the video at this house here. But you'll be able to see as we get closer, they've got their house all boarded up, waiting for the water to come up. What a sight. What a sight. There's lots of people just standing around waiting to see what's going to happen. Everyone's got their garages full of stuff, sandbags everywhere. I guess the one benefit to waiting for the flood here as opposed to Medicine ha or as opposed to Calgary was that we've got plenty of warning that it's coming whereas Calgary was kind of hit without warning all of a sudden. There was no way to prepare for it, but we we're just waiting for the onslaught. These people all have stuff in the... And there's a truck full of sandbags. Trailers, they've got... Stuff up out of their basements. Some beautiful homes here that just will become swimming pools, I have no doubt. Like amazing houses down in this area. And this could all be underwater in by this time tomorrow. Alright, I'm gonna end it here, but uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I might be able to post something later on with the actual flood results.